What's up, guys? Dustin Huey here, back with the Nashville Predators GM mode. Yeah. <clears throat> As you can probably tell, I was saying yesterday that I was getting sick, but man, my throat is horrible today. It is brutal. So I got a nice piping, piping hot cup of coffee beside me. We're going to get this going here. I actually slept really long. I opted out of going to school this morning, uh, university, and I literally slept. I think I ended up going to bed at 3 just because I, I could not sleep. But I slept until about 2.30. <laughs> so, it was pretty good. I liked it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're into uh, the All-Star game here. And uh, one of the other things somebody said is it would be almost worth it for me to go for Pittsburgh's first-round pick. Um, that is something I can definitely look at. Um, they've actually picked it up a little bit. they got 34 points now. But uh, come, uh, come trade deadline, I can trade for anything I want. So... If Pittsburgh is still going to definitely finish last, that is something we can look at uh, to get Connor McDavid. Um, because um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the trade deadline is the last time I have an opportunity to trade anything I want before the draft. So, um, Well, actually, I guess technically the draft I do, but I only have like one phone, so it's not really worth it. <laughs> um, somebody said I have Hoven in as my, as my starting goal in the AHL. I don't... I don't think I do. I called him up, so I'm just going to check that out because pretty positive. Yeah, no, he's in that right now, so. Whoever said that is a liar. You're a bloody liar. I don't like it. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's about it. All right, so let's get into the all-star game. The all-star game. And then we look at the teams. Yes. All right, let's look at the teams here. Uh, so we're on the west, so we're going to look at the uh, the red team first here. So we've got Ovechkin, Stamkos, Gabryk, Nash, Giroux, Kessel, Zetterberg, Tavares, Vanek, uh, Eliash, Plakanic, uh, Grabner. Where the hell is Crosby? Huh. <laughs> Deep pairing one, Carlson, Latang, Hamilton, Myers, Sakira, Gilbert, and then, um, yeah, as if Crosby's not on there. <laughs> Ward and Howard. Oh, yeah, I forgot Detroit on that, on that team. All right, there's our team. Uh, we got Parise, Taves, Hall, Heatley, Couture, uh, Pominville, uh, Hoodler, Duchesne, Cassian, Koivu, Getzlaff, Hornquist, as if Hornquist made it. Jeez. Uh, Suter, Doughty, Yano, Shattenkirk, Enstrom, Goligoski, and in net uh, we got Hellenius and Pavlik. Really? Couldn't have picked Rene. Jeez. Jerks. All right. <clears throat> Sim that game. Sim that game. There we go. Okay, so tour. I'm just gonna double check some comments here while uh, this thing's simming here. One one to there is. Oh my god. Oh yeah, someone said to put Ellis on the first deep pairing for a bit. I might do that <clears throat> just to see what happens. Dowdy, nice. There we go. Uh, Max Reinhardt. We got him. We see. We got Max Reinhardt in uh, in the last GM mode. So I don't really want to get him again. He was a great uh, a great pickup though. Jeez, a lot of scoring going on. Latang four three for the East. <coughs> Jeez. Uh, West ties it. Drew Doughty. Oh my God, Drew Doughty again. What is going on here? Yeah. So yeah, apparently yeah. You guys want me to get. Or some people want me to get Conor McDavid. Uh, it's pretty much worth it to get Conor McDavid. He's a really great player. Okay, let's just finish it off. 6-4. I took too long watching that thing. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Yeah, see, the only thing is Weber is doing really good with... Uh, um, what's his face? I don't really want to change up my deep pairings too much. Like, Weber and Jones are doing really well. Um, he does have really good offense, that's for sure, though. Um, how many, wait, how many games are we at right now? Uh, 45. So, you know, maybe I'll do this stretch with Ellis on that line. Uh, I'll put Sanguinetti on that line, just to kind of get him, get him some uptime. Yeah, so we'll do that for 
up until the All Star break or the uh, trade deadline. Sorry, the All Star break. I don't even know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Uh, yeah. There's other than that. There's not much to do. So yeah, at the trade deadline, we're gonna try and get Pittsburgh's first round. Or if not, we'll we'll do it at the. Um, we'll go for the uh, first round pick at the All Star game. But although I feel like at the All Star game, it's gonna be worth a lot more. So. Mm hmm. But technically, I can trade whatever I want. So. I could trade my first for their first um, before the trade uh, or the actual all-star game because um, well actually no sorry I can't at the at the trade end or at the um, I'm all over the place right now I can't even think wow seven one oh my god if we get a couple losses I'm putting all the defense back because Ellis definitely doesn't help us if, that, if we're getting scored on seven goals um, yeah, if we go to the draft, I can't trade for a first round. So, I'd have to do it at the trade deadline. I totally forgot about that. So, yeah, that's pretty much what has to happen. Uh, why did it... Oh, whoops. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, okay, so we got that stuff. Really? How is it still not... Like, I've been, dra I've been scouting in the OHL for the entire year, and, like, it still doesn't have... Uh, to the goal or the defenseman, I guess. It still doesn't have white stars for McDavid. That's ridiculous. Like, I'm sorry, we've been there the entire year almost. It's stupid. That is stupid. Yeah, I'm trying Ellis on the second lines or the first line. So, if we don't do well. Whoever, whoever said that, that's your fault. It's your fault. <laughs> that's on you, bud. Oh, we won. Okay. All right, you got lucky. You got lucky. <laughs> All right, Toronto. <clears throat> Whoa, two one loss. I think that was an OT loss, possibly. No, maybe not. I don't know. Twenty six, sixteen, and six. A lot of sixes. <clears throat> Rangers. Okay, mm so we've lost three out of four with the defense the way it is. If we lose one more, I'm changing it back. Especially to Philly. That's brutal. Yeah. Okay, it's going back. Sorry, that's on you. <laughs> Whoever suggested those lines, that is your fault. Okay, I'm putting them back because I don't want to blow a bunch of games just to have Ellis on the first uh, deep pairing there. That's brutal. That is brutal. Um, although Ellis has technically played more than half the year up front there, so. Uh, what do we got here? He's got, what, 19 points? He had 31 last year. Wow, he's not really doing that great. I was saying, what is Eddie doing? How is he doing? He's got 19 points. He had 54 in the AHL last year. Holy crap. <clears throat> and Yozy has 14. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll uh, switch Yozy and Ellis. We'll do that for now. Yeah, he's just he's not going on the first deep pairing. That did not work out at all. So I'll give him a chance on the uh, the second one, though. I just don't feel like blowing a bunch of games just to have Ellis on the first line. Because... Just pointless. I don't want to do it. <clears throat> All right, Pittsburgh. Come on, guys. Gotta keep him down there. There we go. Nice. There we go. Silverberg taking the lead in goals. That's good. <laughs> so we have a sniper leading goals and a sniper leading assists. Really? We lost to Washington? <clears throat> okay, guys. We can't blow games now. There we go. Silverberg scoring, which is awesome. It's good stuff. All right, Channel G, Sh the Channel G Sharks. Hey, we're playing the Channel G Sharks here. Yes. All right, come on. <coughs> Jeez, Louise, my throat is really like. <laughs> I apologize for how bad I sound right now. It's brutal. <laughs> Vancouver. Oh my god, what are we doing? 29, 20, and 6? Come on, guys. What the hell? He's Louise. Eric Gustafsson. Uh, how old is he? 26, and yeah, no. No tanks. It's weird how you, like, just minor changes on the team can, like, screw you up. Like, we've gotten way more losses than wins, I think. Actually, not really. We've gone, like, 5 and 5, I think, down the stretch here. So we were, what, <clears throat> 25 and 15 or something, I think? There we go. 
So yeah, and then we were in 30 and 20, so that's like 5 and 5 pretty much. Maybe a overtime loss in there. Oh, thank God, there we go. Silverberg with 20 goals. That's good. That's actually really good. Excellent. Ottawa. They got a pretty good team, actually. Oh, wow, nice. All right. Keep it up, guys. I don't know how Chicago does so bad. That makes no sense. Kudobin. Why is Crawford not in the net? Like, what? Why is Kudobin in the net? Did they trade Crawford? Like, I don't understand. We still lost them somehow, but... Boggles my mind. <clears throat> there we go. 34, 21, and 6. Okay, we're, so we're getting kind of back on track here. Uh, I'll just continue right now. We'll just, i got to sim through this quick. Uh, goals, first period, 3-2, Columbus, wow. Second period, All right, third period. Uh, come on, Nashville. Oh, my God, really? Oh, Hoven ends in that. <clears throat> That's probably why. Hoven in, you're playing like trash. Oh, wow, Hoven in. What are you doing, bud? Wow. Fisher scores late, but doesn't really matter. 5-3 loss to Columbus. Oh, man, Hoven in. Hoven in plays some... I thought he was doing really good at the start. Now he's not really... He's not having some good games there. Hey. Yikes. <laughs> I wonder if it's been starting Hoven in a little bit more because he's an 82. Probably. Eh? That sucks. Okay, anyways. Um, uh, trade negotiation. Trading block. Alright, so <clears throat> we have to go for the first round pick right now. Um, well, at the trade deadline, sorry. Um, if we want to try and get it. Um, Legwand is on there. Hutton is on there. Other than that, I don't really think we can do much. Uh, what is... Oh, what am I doing here? I want to see what Pittsburgh has on the block. <clears throat> oh, they don't really have a whole lot, eh? Wants and surplus. So they want first and seconds. They have future first and second. Hmm. They want a starting goalie, really. Don't they have flurry? Like, I don't... I don't understand. It's really weird. Okay, let's see what Pittsburgh would take from us. Yeah, like I said, at the uh, the trade deadline, I can trade whatever I want, so. Like, how is Crosby not doing better? What the hell is going on? He's, like, sick. He's only got 53 points. Wow. He's not even a point of game. He hasn't even been a point of game at all. Last year, he wasn't either. Jeez, what the hell? What is going on with Crosby? Crosby's broken. So, Pittsburgh first is about half the value. Mm, this will be tough to get. Weber Jones. I don't really want to trade either of them. Ellis. Yozy. Yozy's kind of expensive, though. That's a thing. And he's in a six year contract. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. So, uh, Watson is up there. We could definitely trade Watson. I'm, not, I'm totally down with that. He's a, he's a pretty solid player, but if I could get McDavid, McDavid will be. You know, in there, shoe in for our team. Forsberg's value is up there as well. How's he doing right now in the HL? He's got 42 points. Uh, I definitely want to get rid of Leguan. Leguan can we can trade. Granlund, I don't want to trade. Murphy. I guess I could trade Murphy technically. I mean, I signed him as a free agent. We have. Uh, we got room to do that if we want. Um, Smith, Hornquist, Cullen, Howerliuk. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Especially with my throat. I'm like, bleh, bleh. we don't really have any other defensive prospects though. Like Ekholm's not even. Yeah, he's only three and a half. Oh, brutal. Yeah, our only real good defensive prospect is Murphy right now that we signed. Um, yeah, I don't know how like some of these guys have such terrible trade value. Oh, he's only two and a half star. I thought he was better. Sorry. Um, 
Yeah, I don't even know what I'd want to trade, man. Seriously. I have no idea. <sighs> I mean, Grant, or we could get rid of Murphy. He's only 65. So, I mean, there's room to get a better defenseman for sure. Especially if I keep my first round pick. Like, if we still keep our first round pick somehow. Um, where is it? Let's go up here. If we were able to keep that, and then even these seconds, if we were to keep those, we might still be able to get a solid defenseman. Uh, we could even trade up a little bit. Because, like, I mean, I'm sure I could get, not maybe not a top 10. Why does it keep going back down there? Maybe not a top 10 uh, draft pick, but, like, I mean, you saw the great players that were in the OHL. Like, we could probably get something. Something. Anything, you know? Um, in terms of this, why does it keep changing all my stuff? Oh, my. What is going on here? Jeez Louise, man. Yeah, so in terms of this, though, um, I definitely feel like we could trade probably Murphy. Uh, we could get rid of Watson. Watson, like I said, Watson is good, but we don't need another 2A forward, for sure. Like, we could get rid of Watson. Um, but the other thing is, how many players do they have, right? Like, I might put up... Oh, Okay. See, like, I put a Watson and Murphy, still not even close, you know? Um, goalies matching. Okay, so there's goalies. Uh, Rene. Rene's, like, out of this world world uh, for value. But I just, I don't know how many more players we could actually trade for that. I don't want to trade Forsberg. I don't want to keep him. Um... <clears throat> The other thing is Yozy is just so expensive. He's four million dollars. Like I could probably sign another defenseman, you know. Um, what is he like? Yeah, he's three and a half. So like, I could get rid of Yozy, keep Sanguinetti, and possibly go for another defenseman somewhere else. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What should I give up for that first round? Murphy, I definitely, I'd be down to get rid of Murphy and Watson. If I were to put Yozy on there, well, they did, they have cap space, holy crap. Like, I don't even think that's enough, though, you know? Even if I were to throw in a goal, like, I don't even know how many players they Hoiven in. Like, we could trade Hoiven in, too, like, bring up Helberg, but I don't want to waste Helberg's rookie season as a backup. I'd rather see him get, like, better. Um, Rubik and Soros, who's... Yeah, Rubik's older, so, like, we could even trade that, too. Like, holy crap. Look at all the stuff we could trade. And then I could even throw in, like, a second round. I can't believe they have so much room. I could throw in a second, just see who's worse, Buffalo or Edmonton, and then go from there. Or I could trade next year's first, because I I don't know if the rule was within two years or something, but... Actually, I don't even know if I had a rule about draft picks, but I I'd li I like to keep it within two years. Like, we could do that, even, for their first. Watson, Murphy, Yozy, Hrubik, and then we can try and find a replacement defenseman um, for Murph or Yozy. You know what I'm saying? We could do that. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Because I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. Uh, Defenseman-wise, though, I mean... There's Eric Gribba we could sign. He is available, so I could technically sign him um, before we get into the into the dra uh, the trade deadline, and then we have him as a as a defenseman, defensive defender. We could just put him in the bottom, the bottom two, right, and then trade Yozy. I mean, I like Yozy. There's no doubt about it. But he for four million dollars as an 84, that's a lot. Like that's really expensive. I mean, this guy's even three million, but. Um, yeah, like, I could definitely, definitely change that, change that up. Um, I don't know. Okay, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll look at the stats really fast. <clears throat> I'm just kind of humming and hawing right now. Uh, stats central. Uh, let's look at our team stats first. Okay, so we're sitting in six, so we've improved slightly by one position. <laughs> I think we're tied for six. Yeah, there's a few teams down there. Um, Winnipeg is still leading our division, apparently, with 84 points. <clears throat> Goals for, we're at 2.6. Goals against, we're at 2.42. Uh, 
Uh, power play, we've dropped below 20%. Arg. Uh, PK 82.2 still. Home 17, 10, and 3. Away 17, 12, and 3. Last 10, 7, and 3. We're doing not bad. We definitely improved a little bit. We started off after that uh, after that All-Star game. We started horribly, but... Yeah, we definitely improved. Uh, let's look at our stats here. Looks like Silverberg's getting some goals, which is great. I'm just... Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for a trade to get that first, because that this is the only opportunity we have to get that first round. Uh, Hornquist has 45 points. Fisher has 38. Silverberg has 38. Wilson has 36. Granlin has 35. Uh, Jones has 32 now. Stahlberg has 30. Wow, Jones is doing good. Weber has 28. Cullen, Ellis has 25. So what did Ellis have last year? He had 31 points. Oh, okay, he's kind of on track. That's not bad. Sanguinetti has 24. Like, even, like, look at it. Like, Yosey's not even up there for points. He is, kind of, but not really. Like, Sanguinetti's doing better, and he played most of the year on the bottom two, so. I could put Sanguinetti and Ellis together and then get rid of Yosey, sign that other dude. Yeah, so we could sign that 83 and then get the first round. Hopefully, I don't know if that trade will go through. Um, so we get the first round, and then basically we go for Connor McDavid, hope, hoping that uh, Pittsburgh ends up dead last like they are and that our our trades don't help them at all. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm giving them a lot of players, right? Especially if I give them the Yozy because that's he's a pretty solid defenseman. So, But... I don't know how they're not over cap space either. That makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. Because they like they have like Malkin, Crosby, freaking Flurry, like uh, Latang. I don't know how they're not over cap space. It makes no sense. All right. So what do we got here? So Jones has gone up uh, 10 stats now in, well, 10 categories. Sorry. Um, he's definitely getting better. Like, oh, my God. Jones is a beast. He is a stud. Uh, Ellis has gone up as well in nine categories. So Ellis is still getting better. He's just his overall is not really going up. But he's got a lot of good stats. I don't understand. How is it not gone up? Look at his offense. Like, where is it? Offense. It's like all high 80s. Puck skills is all high 80s. Offense winners is 95. I don't know why his stats aren't really going up. That makes no sense. Hmm. All right, Silverberg has gone up in slap shots. <laughs> that's uh, that's solid. Cerveni has wow, Cerveni's gone up to a seventy-nine already this year. Nice. So he could be ready to go next year too. Nice, nice. Uh, Hendrix has gone down. Ekholm has gone up to a seventy-four. Saliner or Saliner, I don't know how you say it. Murphy. Yeah, but I like Murphy's are pretty much only good defensive prospect, but we already have a lot of good defense, right? Like, I don't know. It's not the end of the world if we have to get rid of them. So, uh, none of our goalies have gone up. All right, so that is it. Let me know what you guys think about that trade, because I would really like to get a first overall, and if we can get uh, McDavid, I've never really done McDavid. I think I did McDavid in the NHL 13. But he ended up not being very good just because, I don't know. Or no, no, I didn't. I don't think I actually ever got him. I could be mistaken. Yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think, all right? And I apologize for my raspy voice because I'm sick. <laughs> ah, what's up, guys? <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, guys.